out of him on night, there I did. And we know you're here. We thank you, Lord, for that. And we thank you that you say we, and you will never leave us nor forsake us. And you're in us, and that's its most wonderful thing with your spirit. And Lord, tonight, we just pray that you will minister to each one of us, Lord. Uh, we, we declare and decree your glory in this place. We declare your power and we declare your victory, the victory. Oh, we thank you. we got to be victorious, Lord. We just uh, say everything is about you, Lord. And we glad, Lord, that we can meet together and, and be in one mind on the court. And we just leave everything in your hands, trust in you, and help us to be sensitive to your spirit and every need. Yes, this is your name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, just in your presence. Yes. Yes. You know, I was listening, I was, I was praying, but I was trying to listen to, to some of the things Sister Foster was <coughs> saying to to kind of agree. I was just praying and, and agree. And uh, unity uh -huh. comes to, we've got to have unity in the body of Christ. But when, the main thing is we've got to have a group of people that are seeking truth. Uh -huh. Because if what we're believing is not truth, we need truth. Yep. And we don't need to say, oh, well, I, my grandpa believed this, and, you know, my daddy believed that, and I believe. You know, a lot of people say, I'll be this till I die because my dad or my grandpa or something. Well, they may have died and wrong, you know. We've got to find the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ and walk in it. Christ has no grandchildren. Right. And well, somebody, you can't go by what somebody before you. Robert, if we're going to look at that, I'm going to have to get a little closer. Is that what we're going to do? No, I'm recording. Oh, you're Okay. <laughs> very good. That's okay. It's very informed. Yeah, it's very informed. <laughs> it's really yeah, recording. Okay. It's both ways by camcording and by tape. Oops. Oops. Uh oh, I said something. Oh. Speaking. Hmm. You'll have to help me quiet for a We don't even care if we put on Facebook, do we? <laughs> Maybe that's what we are supposed to shut that thing up. Now remember now, don't say anything that you don't want to be public. So. <laughs> yeah. I, that's what I just said, and we don't care if this is on Facebook either. Because God's going to leave this, and no man. Oh, I know. It's not doing God. You're too close to something. He probably's got it figured out. We don't need that. Yep. I see it up Maybe a short cord or something. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Join the crowd. I don't usually have that short. Well, mine's oh. doing better. Mine is too, but I'm taking tablets and playing yeah, for the tablets. I just go here. Yeah. It's not going to be. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have to use the microphone. We don't have to. No. Well, we don't just, really hear you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Welcome to the second day of the prophetic uh, summit. We're only going to have one more day of it. They're not going to take a little break for a little while. And, I hope so. And then the, the, the last, uh, about the last of the week, uh, about on a Thursday through Sunday, we'll, we'll have a prophetic summit if the Lord allows it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we will see what the Lord will comes on uh, comes to uh, on later on but tomorrow's morning will be at two o'clock in the afternoon everybody's still welcome you can make it that's good that's, if you can't that's fine 
that would be the last one for this week. So, uh, so, uh, like I said, we want to welcome everyone here. I'm, uh, Prophet Robert Foster. This is the Foster's Ministry. And we got here, Brenda K. What's your ministry? The Sacred Garden Ministry. Bruce? Christians in Action. Okay. We, we need to really lift up all the ministries that yeah. are true ministries. Uh, because it, it will be going back to it. I used to say being uh, in, uh, in, in the end time, uh, in the overtime, time of the end. But now it's the end of the end. Because really, everything is ready. Uh, the Mary Supper of the Lamb is ready. But the church, the church is not ready. They right. still arguing between each other. Right. They all well, well, and we've been talking our own self about these colleges and universities are theology schools. Yeah. They want to teach about. They just saying there's only two positions: a pastor and a preacher. They leave out the evangelists, whether right. they do the tent, right. or, or and even the prophets, they That's leave right. them out. Well, they leave not right. part of the Word of God. Yeah, yeah. The, the teachers are just very little. Uh, so, it's just like I say, it's hard for, for I say there's not very many cities in Mississippi. The ones I call is no longer even in service. They kind of laugh. Uh, went somewhere else where they might have more freedom. So that's why I say we need to really lift up ministries. So we need to be praying for the ministries and for people to get more interested in more freedom. And because like they said, we're two or three gathered together, and I'm in the midst. Right, amen. And they, and, uh, what they also uh, uh, gathered, uh, gathered in unity, like you said, and also, uh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, assembled together, as in a matter of such as the day approaches. Yeah. As we we've, we've been hearing on the news, and we've been hearing other places with my aunt, what we call her this morning, that the Donald Trump is working on a police uh, peace plan for Israel, yes. and just like what uh, Jonathan Burner said, there's not going to be really no true peace until the Prince of Peace right. shows up. I think what he's trying what I got myself from that is he's trying to get all these countries yeah. in fact the whole universe whole world all the nations to recognize and be a friend to Israel yes. and that's biblical yes because if you bless yes. them then you're going to be blessed and if you curse them be cursed but they, they and, forget that when it says the scripture says when they say peace, peace, like they've made it. Uh -huh. And when they say peace, peace, sudden destruction is coming. Uh -huh. So. And see, people will always get scriptures. But see, that's why the Lord called me to be end time prophet. And he told me the main book I'm supposed to be doing is the book of Revelation. People get so uh, uptight in the book of Revelation that people really don't, uh, kind of make it fit, fit their doctrine or their beliefs. Some people say, oh, it's got to be the last Trump, it's got to be the seventh Trump, then it's uh, or the battle of Armageddon has already happened or something. That means you go through. Everybody's going to go to all the tribulation. Well, you know, some people that have been saying when somebody will question something about Revelation, they say, oh, brother, you need to stay out of that book. Yeah. 
But there is a you got to but there is a blessing yes. a blessing for reading and that. hearing right. and doing yeah. the word the book of Revelation. Yeah. And yes, some of it is it's revelations of past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. Some of it is past, some of it is present. But there's some of it's going to be future. Yeah. Uh -huh. And see, people will argue you about the rapture. When is it going to happen? Well, no, when nobody. The Lord, when the Lord no, does. No, I mean, want to know. Yeah, but the Father in heaven is the only one that knows that. Mm -hmm. But he also said that he didn't want his children to be ignorant. Uh -huh. God said he, we, he would. And he, those of us that have his spirit know that something's afoot. Yeah, uh -huh. we but know that it's soon. Is we have to we be know ready. that it's very no soon uh -huh. because the signs of the times, if you care uh -huh. to observe them, are all around us. Oh yeah, and see, but that's what I'm saying. Everybody is going the signs, mm -hmm. and everybody, like I say, I was kind of laughing one time. The uh, the Muslim is looking for their Mahdi, mm -hmm. and they want him to come real quick, like. Yeah. Their uh, Messiah is our, uh, or the Christians and the Christ, because <coughs> that's what it's kind of like. And, uh, and then I kind of accidentally, I was shutting off the, uh, the satellite, and I happened to see Ivan Baxter was real late, mm -hmm. and I uh, seen him <coughs> on there real late, and he mentioned something. He, he said, uh, uh, he, he, he said on there, I'm, uh, not, I'm looking, I'm reading for Jesus to come back right now. I said, everybody want their Messiah to come. <laughs> Well, he yeah. knows when to come. He's the only one who knows when to come. And he's not saying anything to me. Uh, what I think is because Satan hears, he knows it's going to happen. And he's going to want to know. And he was going to try to take us out if he knows. He knows his time is we short. Get, yeah. He knows his time is short. And the that's day. why we're going in the twinkling of an eye so mm -hmm. Satan don't take it. Do nothing about. I'm 70 years old. I've been studying the Bible and prophecy and the end times and reading and hearing about it and hearing messages and whatnot all my life. I've been following politics all my life. I have never seen a time when the media will just outright lie. Well, it is now. Rather than tell the truth and expect people to believe it. I have never seen a political party try to undermine and destroy a president like they're trying to do yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. I ha and I've never seen a president be more successful. Because I have not seen, I have not seen him. Donald Trump make a wrong decision yet. You might think it's wrong, but a week or two or three weeks later, you see, hey, that was the right decision. It's almost like God was directing yeah, the man. Yes. <laughs> and it's not to his credit, I just somehow, uh, he has been raised up to be used of God. I don't know whether he's a Christian or not. Yeah, That's he, not is. He, he is. I hope that he is. And I he's believe got advisors at all. <clears throat> he, he, he Jonathan Kahn prophesied that he would get saved in the White House. Well, he is. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of people think they're saved, but then he's dead. See, he'll, God's he'll, put he'll, other people mm -hmm. right yeah, he, there. He's too. got a lot of Christians around. He said yeah. he'll go in, you know. Yeah. And you know, uh, Thank we, the Lord, and Lord. we, we that just, doesn't make a person be a tool of God. You see the evidence that this man is being used yeah. of God. Yeah. And he, For some purpose. We don't know what it is exactly. And he well, loved could be to speed up the end time coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't know. Yeah. I don't and, have an answer. And but he, see, yeah. I see the hand of God yeah. in all of this. And he loves for people to pray for yeah. him. Yeah, and he says so his legacy is to be knowing that he's the president that believes in prayer. And he had all there 
to pray at first, and he still does, and he goes to church when, when. And they all in they there's a prayer bag there, and he, and he said, and he, and he said, and he said, uh, uh, don't you remember that prayer bag that's up there on that uh, shelf? He said, yeah, I was the one that brought it to you. He said, we pray over those prayer, it, uh, the whole. Whole yep. cabinet prays over those, that prayer every morning. Mm -hmm. so, Wonderful. And you know, we're commanded to pray for those who yeah, That's office. right. Mm -hmm. Instead of gripping about it, and and whether it was our man or not, you know, whether it was our man or not, whether we voted for him or not, <laughs> he is the man that they, you know, the country's put over the nation, and we're to pray oh, for him. Oh, he's the man, man God put over the nation. Yeah. The powers of be are ordained of God. I'm so not the talking about Donald yeah. Trump. I'm talking about I'm whoever. Talking about anybody. Yeah. Whoever. Uh, and, Vladimir and Putin over in Russia. He's ordained of God to be there. We right now. are to pray for those in office. Yeah. That's right. And we need to pray for <coughs> our leaders. Yeah, for our leaders. sure, the pastors. pastors. Yeah. All these churches. churches. Oh, yes. That they will see. That they will really see and hear from the God. The error of yeah. their ways and to wake up and be a And teach instead, teach love instead of can't do this, yeah, can't do yeah, that, yeah, can't do, do, do yeah, this. Do the do's it, and the do's Mary and the don'ts. said that was quote from Mary Stone. <laughs> the do Holy you. Ghost teaches you what to do and what not to oh, do. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the pastor a lot of times takes that over or even mix it in the God's Word. Yeah. And I never heard, this is the first time I heard this. I have three messages today. I thought to myself, well, how are you going to choose? Which one did God give you? God don't give somebody three messages to confuse. That's confusion. Well, if he wanted to preach them all, he might give them to him, but he's not supposed to choose. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's like God gives me messages in my dreams. And I'll wake up and I'll start writing them down. Well, I've got books of messages. And when I started the TV ministry, I would pray. I'd say, Lord... Bring to my mind the message you want for today or give me a new one. Because I only want to speak what you want me to speak. That's it. Yeah. And he would always give me a message. I mean, I'd go flipping through there, you know, and one would quicken my spirit. Or either he'd give me a new one all together. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. I mean, you know, I have nothing to say. Uh, yeah, uh... As you know, uh, I usually have uh, the laptop and then had the projector and the screen here. I remember that. Uh, I still got the screen, but my projector blowed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm praying the Lord will supply that need and everything else. Uh, That's what you need, He will. Uh -huh. It's like I have bought this 13.4 acres. Did you know you, this, your digital television has connectors in it. You can run from your computer to that and whatever size television screen you got, you can watch your computer on that. Did you know that? Yeah, I just kind of real hard to hook it up. That's the way I watch television. I, I, I don't watch television. I just take my, run it in from a computer. Oh, in there well, we he's don't telling want. us his daily <laughs> it's, it, We've got TV, but it's not connected. Mine's not even connected. You can't yeah. even turn it on and get nothing. Well, but three, you can, four channels, you can you know, not air. at the house. Yeah, you not get, at my house. No, I mean the TV channels through the air. I can't get anything at the house. I can get to at the cabin. Well, it's because anyway, it's not hooked. The antenna's not hooked up. But anyway, anyway we, we can, can glory put, star. It's a Christian. We, yeah, yeah, we ain't got glory star or satellite. Yeah, we'll we see, can we, just hook that up and, and instead of uh, my 18 inch or 19 inch laptop screen, I can hook my computer to the TV and I'll have a 32 inch screen. But you get you a big, that buy some used monitor someplace in a, a yard sale, you could hook your uh, computer to that and run whatever's on there right onto the thing. Uh, I can show you how to do it if you want. Uh, 
But anyway, on with so yeah. what I was started to say is that's like the, the Secret Garden Ministries. We've purchased 13.4 acres, and um, hmm. I have I only had enough money to buy it outright, so it's free and clear, and have a circle drive put in and enough graded for my little tiny house cabins. I have got four started at different stages and um, I don't have much money a month to do anything well, but, no, but you do no, what you it. can with what you've got yeah. and I am expecting and believing and trusting in God that before the end of the year I'll have one of the cabins finished and out there and you know yeah. and uh, I just got a sign made and you know, people say, well, my daughter especially, she'll question, she'll say, well, Mama, why did you buy a sign when you ain't got nothing in? You know, I said, well, I've got the circle drive, and you don't want people going and just running around through there, you know, and so before I, I, I even get anything out there, which costs a lot of money, and you're going to have to do it in stages, right? But I do have enough money to buy a sign, and I do have enough money to get some posts. And so I'm going to put a post up, a post up, a post across the top, and hang my sign at the entrance. And then do the same thing and hang a sign to exit. Yeah, so they'll know which way to come in and which way to come back. I can do that pretty soon, you know, one thing at a time. Yeah. I've got my, one That's sign, fine. they're making the other one, and then I'll buy some posts. And then I'm going to get a gate for each driveway so I can lock it when we're not there. So that way people's not vandalizing the place. Yeah. And it's hunting land. Hopefully. There's deer all over the place and wild turkey. And I put up no hunting signs, private property, and they just tear them down. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I have. But like you said, Robert, if the Lord is in it, it'll get done. Uh -huh. That's right. And you just don't have That's to. That's what he yeah, wants you to do. And it's... You just have to be really waiting on him, cause, uh, cause it's his time is not our time. His Josh, way he is and not our ways. But like, I'm not waiting to minister till I get all that done. Oh no, no. we're no. ministering. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I've got a group on Facebook. Hey, the and like I say, uh, I to my neighbor, I say I'm gonna send him him a link to your 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 uh, ministry page mm -hmm. too. So. He can join in if he wants yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, and once well, in a while, I'll, I will post somebody else's ministry, you know, uh, like something comes on my feed that I agree um, with, I'll post, you know, share it to my ministry. Sometimes they'll take it off. They'll say, you you didn't have permission to do this. I'm like, well, you know, if they don't want me to share it on my Robert ministry group. Robert about to get into well, something there else, and we've got all well, sides well, out here. So. Uh, I forgot what it was. <laughs> my you was talking about your thing blew up. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. That's why I'm saying that if, it's, if yeah. it's God's will, you'll get another one. Yeah. And if it ain't, you didn't need it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we're just trying to find yeah, God's we just, will. Yeah, we just find we, God's uh, will. Your will be done. Yeah, not, we, uh, yeah not our will, but, but, your, but His will be done. Yes, amen. In everything. So that's why I'm saying we just, we just need prayer and like I'm saying, we just follow the will of the Lord, so we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be going to checking out uh, Black Zion Pentecostal tomorrow morning. We're visiting. We're gonna just gonna visit them. And it might be a and, and uh, we we don't know. They might have some, there might be somebody that that has something for us there, or might have a something they want to sow into the ministry or do something. I don't know, I'm just going to ex explain something. Yeah. And then, like I said, then we're going to be... Well, I'm going to praise and worship. I, I, and I'm going to praise and worship. And I'm going to go, we're going to go praise and worship the Lord. Yeah. Uh, but we also praise and worship the Lord here. Yeah. Yes. About yes. Every, every day. day. Yeah, every day. Uh, whether you have a meeting or not, mm -hmm. I always uh, say that if I have a good service at church, 
I want to continue on, even though I'm going to take a little break for lunch. But mm -hmm. 2 o'clock, I'd like to go back and do some more praise and worship. Yeah. Yeah. Singing. And like they said, that's what, when you do sing, you know, when you sing unto the Lord or do praise and worship in the Lord, it's a praise to Him. Sometimes they say it, it's like warfare. Spiritual warfare goes on. And besides that, right now, there's angels found out. Uh, and, and, and a lot of times, <laughs> yes. and that's what we were hearing, uh, that a lot of times, when they hear a lot of praise and worship, an angel is this, this patch and might whisper to someone, oh, you're going to get a blessing. You're going to get, I know, Jehovah. Uh, that provides Jehovah Jireh that provides. Yes, amen. Or I'm Jehovah Rapha, the I God that he healeth thee. Or I'm the God of everything. Yeah. I'm Jehovah of everything. Because he is, like I like, say, he's, <coughs> he's, the, he's the one that owns cattle on a thousand head. Yeah. And like they say, his days is. Is a thousand years. He don't have no time limit. His time is forever. Mm -hmm. yeah, and like I said, we are in this yeah. time zone. But once, if we keep our hearts ready, we would, see, that's why I'm saying we just got to keep our own self, yes. uh, our yes, heart yes, uh, yes. only right. We don't have to worry about anybody else. Thank goodness, it's just for us and not everybody else. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> like I said, a lot of people that we can take with us is souls. <coughs> True. Souls is yes. the only one. Yes. Those who win souls is wise. Mm -hmm. So we got to remember, there's a lot of people who's out there that are sick and tired of of Institution. Uh, yeah, institution. Uh, it's sick and tired of uh, ritual yeah. and habits. Yeah. Not talking to people would even get tired of yeah, tradition and get tired of, yeah. uh, like, you know exactly what you're going to do. Like, uh, or, uh, like, do a uh, hymn at the beginning, then time to take a prayer request, then mm -hmm. it's time to take up the offering and tithes and. Mm -hmm. They just wish for Sunday school and come back, have the spade, have, uh, do more. Five uh, minutes for this and ten minutes for that. Uh, do, but yeah, yeah, do another hymn. Yeah. Then, let's, then have some people do some specials. Then time for the preacher to get up and preach. Yeah. Where is the Lord at? Working on his time. <laughs> yeah, he don't have no time. He's standing at the door, knocking. Yeah, there are. Yeah. To be let in. Oh, no, I've got that makes me think. Can I tell about my dream? Sure, go right. that knocking on the door. Yep, yeah, go right. Well, you have to get permission first before you can tell. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. Anyhow, I brought that so I feel like I'm supposed to say it now. Yeah. And it, it really hurts me. Why? I was in some kind of building, don't even know where, but I believe I know where. <laughs> I'm not sure if the Lord didn't show me that. It was pitch black, so I couldn't see much at all. I don't know how. And I never saw the people's faces, but I knew who they were. One of our friends that we went when we was going to church was, she was there with her children. And she was the only one that was there. But I heard a knock on the door. And it must have been close to the door because pitch black. I couldn't see to get the door plugged in front of me. Went to the door and opened it. And there were two forms with robes on. Didn't see the faces, didn't see anything. I just seen the forms. And they didn't <coughs> say anything. And I didn't say anything. There's no conversation at all. But I tried to turn the light on, the switch, and nothing came on. There they stood outside the door. Here was in. And I'm 
switched another light. Nothing come on. So they laughed. And then my friend laughed. And then I laughed. Didn't want to be in no darkness. No darkness. I wanted the light on, but it wouldn't come on. Mm -hmm. And then Robert had a dream. I had a dream that. too. I was at the same place. I went up to the, the, this, this church building and, 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 uh, and I went in there, there was a, a brother there, he was always greeting people at the door. He said, hi brother, glad to see you again tonight. I said, yeah, I've got the five minute man at tonight and uh, there's something I want you to do when I start uh, start start uh, speaking it. I want you to come back here to the light switch. Mm 